Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 beauty products that I will never regret buying. these are 10 of my holy grail beauty products. These are things that I reach for over and over and over again when I'm doing my makeup or my skincare routine. And I do have a mix of high-end and more affordable products in this video. So if I am showing you a higher priced or luxury product, that means that I feel this product is 100% worth the splurge. Before I get started, I do have a sponsor for today's video. Once again, I have partnered with Ritual Multivitamins to share some information about them with you, and then also to share a special promo that they are running for the month of August. I have been taking the Ritual Essentials for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin for around seven months now. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. This is the first time I have ever been able to be consistent in taking a multivitamin. And I have to tell you that one of the main reasons why I've been consistent with this particular multivitamin is because I actually enjoy taking it. I don't know about you, but I have taken other multivitamins in the past that were just so unpleasant. They had a weird taste while swallowing them and they left a weird aftertaste. So if something puts you off in that way, you're not going to be consistent with it. These ritual multivitamins though, they taste like mint. You can even smell the mint in the bottle. So basically it's like popping two mints in your mouth. Another great thing about these Ritual multivitamins that helps me to be consistent with them is the fact that you do not have to take them with food. They have a time-released capsule design, which means that they will dissolve later in the small intestine, which is actually the ideal place to absorb all of the nutrients. Two of these multivitamins has everything I need to support me nutritionally. And here is everything you get in just two capsules per day, and all of the ingredients are traceable. You can see right here where every single nutrient is sourced from. And remember I told you moments ago that Ritual was offering something special for the month of August? Well, if you want to start a Ritual that you can feel good about, head to the link down below in the description box of this video and use the code RISAMAKEUP30 to receive 30% off. So for the entire month of August, it's not just 20% off, it's 30% off. I can honestly say that I am so happy that Ritual Multivitamins came into my life. Now let's get into those 10 beauty products that I will never regret buying. This first product will come as no surprise to anyone who watches my videos on the regular. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. This is my holy grail cleansing balm. I love this stuff so much. Clearly, I wear a lot of makeup and I wear a lot of long wearing makeup. And as you probably know, that stuff is not easy to remove. You need something ultra powerful, but something that will not strip your skin of its natural oils. It won't make your face feel tight. It's good for the sensitive eye area. It takes everything off, even long wearing makeup. And it just leaves my skin feeling so clean and soft, yet still hydrated. Elemis is a brand that uses just top-notch ingredients. That is why you will find Elemis products in a lot of high-end day spas. And when I went to go get a massage on a cruise I was on a couple of years ago, I noticed that Elemis was the brand that they carried in the spa to use for their facials and to sell to the clients. Next up is a product I haven't talked that much about on my channel. I think I recently talked about it in my Summer Essentials video, but this is sort of like a behind the scenes workhorse product. This is the Innisfree Daily Defense UV Sunscreen. This offers a broad spectrum SPF 36, and I use this every single day under my makeup. This sunscreen has no scent, it blends into my skin quickly and easily. And most importantly, it plays nice underneath my makeup. It doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't make my skin excessively oily. I have oily skin to begin with. And a lot of other sunscreens are just too greasy feeling. 
and don't work well underneath my foundation. But that's not to say that this won't work for those of you with dry skin because it absolutely will. And one of the best things about this sunscreen is that it's really moderately priced. Okay, now let's talk foundation and concealer. I have gone through several bottles of this Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is a long wearing mattifying foundation that still looks like skin. I am so, so bummed that my local Ulta's took all of the Catrice products out of their stores. So I do unfortunately have to order this online. I have several shades. The one I'm using currently is shade 032 Nude Beige. It does have a dropper, which I don't love. But what I do is I put a couple drops on the back of my hand, like maybe two like that. And then I take my stands out sponge like so, and I dab it in and you know, I just apply it to my face and sometimes onto my chest. I don't think I said this yet, but it is what I currently have on. It wears all day long. It lives up to its claims of still looking like skin. You're never going to have that cakey faced look. It photographs beautifully. I simply cannot say enough good things about this product. And I also cannot say enough good things about the relatively new Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This was love at first use. I actually purchased it in two shades. The first one I bought was a little bit light, so I went and got one that was a little bit darker. Now I just sort of use them interchangeably. If I happen to use the lighter one by accident, I just blend it out really well. Maybe mix it in with a little bit of my foundation. If you are over the age of 40 and have yet to find a full coverage, long wearing concealer that is still ultra hydrating and just leaves the most beautiful finish under the eyes, I do recommend splurging on the Natasha Denona High Glam Hydrating and Brightening Concealer. Another product that is completely worth the splurge is the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Powder. I have them in two shades, Satin Blanc and Voile Rosé. As you can hopefully see, each powder has four different sections of a slightly different shade of powder. And what I do is I just mix them all together, put them in the cap, and then I take a brush, dip into the powder, tap off the excess, and dust away any shine. This powder blurs my pores and just gives me that flawless airbrushed look. Now, of course, I have spoken about other incredible loose powders on my channel, but if I had to just pick one, regardless of price, it would definitely be this one from Givenchy. This is another splurge worthy product. Now you definitely won't have to splurge on this next product. I just mentioned how I will often take a brush to dust on the powder onto my face, but I also sometimes use these Velour Triangle Puffs. I know a lot of YouTubers talk about these and have them in their Amazon storefronts. I also have them in mine because in my opinion and in the opinion of a lot of other beauty content creators, these are a must have. I simply adore taking this little puff, patting it into a little bit of powder. This is the pink one and then pressing it right underneath my eyes. But I don't let it sit there for too long. That's a big no-no for mature skin. But I just want the brightening effect and then I just sort of brush it away with the brush. But the application, there's just something about the application with this puff that really changes the game. And it just feels so good against my skin. So don't sleep on these velour puffs. Since I'm on the subject of application tools, let me show you two brushes that I cannot be without. The first one being this IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Brush Number 7. I've purchased two because one was just not enough. You can use this brush to apply foundation. I personally use it to apply contour. I use the larger side to apply contour to my cheeks and my forehead, and then I use the smaller side to blend out contour on my nose. If you've watched pretty much any of my makeup tutorials, you have most likely seen this brush in action. I love it so, so much. 
I was informed of a dupe on Amazon from the brand Dobigny, and I like it, but I don't like it quite as much as the It. As you can see, the It brush is smaller overall, and then also the brush heads are a little bit different. The It brush head is a little bit smaller, and it's a little bit less densely packed which for some people might be a good thing or a bad thing. If you don't want to spend the money on the IT Cosmetics, I would definitely try this one. And if you like this one, then of course there's no need to try out the IT Cosmetics. But if you get this one and you don't love it, you're not blown away by it, I might suggest picking up the IT Cosmetics version because I do like it better. I feel like the bristles are also softer and it just feels better on my face. So I do find myself reaching for the It Cosmetics brush over the alternative version that's on Amazon. Another brush you see me use all the time and recommend all the time is this one from BK Beauty. It is the Tiny Little Angled Brush number 208. If you struggle to apply eyeliner, whether you're doing a winged liner or just trying to get a real nice tight line at the lash line to make your lashes look fuller, you need this brush. Now I've only grabbed two of mine, but I do believe I have at least three of these and I'd be happy to have more because it's just such a necessity. I can really get in that inner corner so easily. I can get right at that lash line so easily. Well, not right now with some fake lashes on, but when I'm doing my makeup, I'm able to get just such a nice thin line, but I'm also able to build up that line. Say I'm doing a wing and I want it to be a little bit thicker over the hood of my eye where I have the fold because my eyes are hooded. This is the perfect brush to do so. I recommend this to everyone with hooded eyes, but honestly, it's ideal for anyone with eyes that wears makeup. Next up, another affordable product, this ColourPop eyeshadow palette. Now this one is my favorite, it's called Of Quartz, but I highly recommend pretty much all of the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes that are similar to this. ColourPop puts out a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I am not on their PR list, so I do not have the opportunity to try them all, but the ones that I have gone out and purchased, like Of Quartz, like this one that's in a little bit different packaging, it's in a hard-sided packaging, this one is called Lucky Penny. I think these are fan fantastic. I have tried eyeshadows of all price ranges. Dior eyeshadows, Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, and I have to be honest and say I find myself reaching for these palettes a lot. I don't see some higher-end palettes being of that superior of a quality to justify the price most of the time. This particular palette, of course, is, as I said, my favorite. I reach for it all the time. I love the cool tones in this palette, and the shimmers are so buttery and pigmented. I don't get a lot of fallout from these. They last all day long, and of course the best part, they're super affordable. Now the final product I have to show you is less affordable, but incredible nonetheless. These Makeup by Mario lip pencils are outstanding. There is a reason why so many of the shades are often sold out. Here are swatches of five of them that I have. I don't know what Mario did differently with these lip pencils than other brands, but they stay on so well. They do not tug as I'm lining my lips. Smoky Pink is my favorite. Unfortunately, that's the one that seems to always be sold out. They're creamy, they're long wearing, come in a beautiful range of colors. They have a sharpener and a lip brush on the end. What more could you ask for? So there they are, my friends, the 10 beauty products that I will never, ever regret purchasing, and I don't think you would regret them either. Of course, all of the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box of this video, as well as, once again, the link to Ritual to use my code to receive 30% off your Ritual multivitamins. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. The username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.